I just love the library. I'm really passionate about it because it's just a great place to go. Like people come here because they want to. <laughs> people are for the most part happy here. It's just uh, yeah, a wonderful sense of community. I live in the community, I work in the community, and I, I'm really proud of working here. And, and I'm proud to see how far Caledon Public Library has come in the last 25 years. It's been amazing. So I'm an information assistant uh, to youth services, which is just like a fancy way of saying I'm basically a librarian without the degree and without the pay. <laughs> uh, my position is library services associate. So I work at the information desk and uh, provide information services and basically everything that you need in the library. Programs, computer help, also help in the circulation department. I think I enjoy um, making a difference and the library is definitely a place that you can um, do that you know, on many, many levels. Uh, you're working with a variety of age groups, socioeconomic groups, um, and it's very, uh, yeah, it's, you're definitely serving the community and uh, so that's what drew me in. Um, but for me what draws me in is not any of the technology or like books, with, though I love books, but I really like helping people. Like there's something really nice about like having a child who like wants the fifth Harry Potter book but they don't know what it's called and you say, oh, it's Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and they're like, oh, you know it? Like, of course I know it. <laughs> I think the library really has to step up and meet the needs of the community. And this year we're kind of going back to a little bit of our traditional roots too because we're doing workshops like beekeeping and maple syrup, you know, how to get maple syrup out of trees and things like that. So we're trying to balance all the technology and the digital support along with the traditional, yeah. Like I feel like as technology gets more and more advanced, a lot of people like to go back to simpler times when they could just do something with their own two hands. Our technology has it's been a wonderful resource, even with digital literacy and things like that with the kids. and. Um, uh, it makes it more accessible to everybody. Probably like I'm more into like the techno technological stuff. I remember how they had like different things that they 3D printed and different uh, programs and codes and, and coding. Well now that everyone has an iPad and a smartphone uh, there are um, apps such as uh, Libby that uh, kids can have on their device, so considering they're going to be on the device anyway, they can now uh, read books and it's also more portable uh, that you can, you know, instead of carrying a, a pile of books, they just take the iPad and uh, they can access the library and all its resources. I rented out a game recently because I have, I have the game on my laptop, but I wanted to try on my, on my uh, Xbox where the library came in handy because uh, I rented it for uh, about a month. I don't want to be too technologically determinist and say that like, oh, better technology means better access for everyone and new technology is always better because that's not always the case. Most people have a computer at home and they never think about the people that don't. So I feel like even simple technology like that, they're not necessarily new, but they're always important and always valuable. And um, I can't tell you the amount of times like I've seen people come to a library and want something as simple as like a laptop and that's like the thing that like changes for them. That's one thing they desperately need. I think the other thing that um, I really see with libraries changing is that it used to be more about consuming. You come in, you get books, but now we're giving them the tools to create. So I think that's where I see the major change, you know. It's more like musical instruments where you can create music. We um, just launched something called Music in the Library. So once a month we're having musicians perform in the library and we had such a great response to that. Like people walk in and they start dancing and hearing. We thought it might be opposite. We were afraid, right? Because are they coming here for quiet space and it kind of, but it's just an hour on a Saturday afternoon and, and they're asking them to come back every week. Like I don't have access to certain things, like certain instruments that I might want to try out. Uh, so I, I think that's really cool. I might want to look into that. In the, every summer we do teen summer challenge, which is kind of like, it's like the kids uh, summer challenge where they have to read but for the teen one we know a lot of teens don't like to read so two years ago they actually cut out all reading from the challenge and the challenges are just now like weekly activities that they can do like write a review of a movie you recently liked or learn to cook something new or like go explore nature and write down what you find like there's a lot of ways that the library is trying to get teens to do stuff that isn't just like sitting behind a computer screen though there's nothing wrong with doing that I feel like the library is just trying to like advocate for different types of experiences um, I had to say that, but there's nothing really that like my library does, but I, I wish we could do more. <laughs>
Libraries definitely improve the quality of people's lives in many ways. Uh, one is the sense of community. So for people who are new immigrants or young mothers and they are confined to their homes, by being able to go to the library gives them an opportunity to interact with other people, to meet other people and to access a wide range of resources that they may not already know of. Being in communications, basically that's our job is to make sure the community knows about the library and it's hard. Um, I think we're really active on social media and that's been a great way to really uh, get out there in the community. Um, we find you know that people share, send our message. We had like a representative come into our school to talk about the library and he talked about how uh, they do uh, different things such as like machine learning or different projects. For me I define value by like something meaningful or something useful to you. Um, so I guess lots of people like even like a simple board game like let's say a family checks out Clue, that's one more way that they're spending time together and it's just a, like another way that they're getting value from the library. So we really are that one community connector that it's a great place in some of the smaller communities to meet your neighbors and you know we have knitting groups so they just sit and knit or we have book clubs, writing groups. Yeah so it's just a great community space and it's like an untapped resource that a lot of people don't know about. When I'm in high school I'd probably I plan on uh, going to the library a lot more. It's I know my sister goes there for studying and um, talking with friends or hanging out there. Um, so I'm, that, I might be interested in doing that next year. One library in my uh, library system has had difficulties. Um, they're right next to a high school and at a certain point they got fed up with like the rowdiness of teenagers which is not something that I mind but I know other libraries especially management struggle with it so at a certain point the manager just banned all teens from the library during lunchtime, which I think is a horrible decision because you won't see those ki kids ever again. All their parents probably think that the library is now the worst place ever. And when those teens grow up and become actual adults, they're not gonna come back because they'll just remember the library as a place that they weren't allowed to go to because it wasn't welcoming, which is something that I think sends a very bad message, like public libraries for everyone. I think the library has been great at, uh, you know, um, being free and equitable access to everybody. We don't judge. Anybody can come here. Um, I think that is our greatest yeah, attribute for sure. I think it's um, a great place uh, for people to go to and uh, take whatever they need or do uh, whatever they need there. I guess the one thing I would want to say is that I encourage everyone uh, just to go to their library and see what the library has to offer because I guarantee that you will be surprised and you will walk away feeling like you've, like you've made your day, like you've done a good thing.